Welcome to the place where we learn about and learn from the leaders in our field who are powering human creativity. I am Aaron Dworkin, and this is Arts Engines. <laughs> Thanks again for joining me here on Arts Engines. Today's guest is Wilna Jumist Taylor, who serves as Assistant Director of the CURB Center for Art, Enterprise, and Public Policy at Vanderbilt University. Wilna, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Erin. Well, it is so great to have you on the show. And obviously the Curb Center is one of our wonderful, amazing uh, creative partners for the show. I've had the opportunity to actually be there at the yeah. center, see the work that you do firsthand, which is truly wonderful. Um, so I thought I would just start off for anyone in our audience who isn't familiar with the work of the center. Could you kind of just give us a quick overview of the sense of the breadth of the work for the center? Yeah, so um, it's in the title. Right. So we do work in um, policy. We do work that looks at um, cultural production, engaging the community, um, both at Vanderbilt and beyond um, enterprise, thinking about how creatives are innovative, working with the students to um, build um, ideas and how to then put them out into the world. Um, so really get into the practice. So we do presentation as well as have guests come in and you know, engage us with art. Awesome. So that's awesome. a very broad way of describing what we do. Of course, we also have research as well. Definitely, definitely. And so, and so as part of that work and some of the efforts that you lead um, mm -hmm. relates to arts administration. Uh, and specifically, you have an arts administration incubator. And as you know, for me, this is such a, a relevant issue. You know, it wasn't too long ago that the idea of arts administration and arts administration programs at many conservatories, music schools, and others, art schools was kind of a sideline. And certainly now in recent years, it's become far more forefront as the understanding of the value of these skill sets is so critically important. Um, right. So, but could you share that work that you're doing as it relates to your incubator and how that relates to your community there in Nashville? Yeah, sure. So one of the things that I do is I work primarily with the undergraduate students and getting them to understand what it means to be involved in culture work, what to be a cultural worker, what does that mean? And an arts administrator is, as you know, the, sometimes the person that is doing the work to help sustain the, 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 the museums, the galleries and the, the business side of things. Um, and also engaging in social arts practice, you know, galvanizing community and, you know, pushing projects forward. So the arts administrative um, administration incubator basically is looking at different projects that um, really highlights the work that administrators do. Um, and then getting the students to understand that as creatives or artists, that you have to have a sense of how to manage and function and, and run an organization, right? Put a project together and have it, you know, presented to an audience. And so the, the incubator is looking at all the kind of mechanics and logistic, logistics that happen behind the scene. Um, and sometimes in front, right? But mostly how to sustain a structure an arts structure or an arts program. Awesome, awesome. And do you have kind of, as you look at that, there's probably a number of people in our audience who are either looking at developing or have some types of, of programs. Is there kind of a structure that, that you have or a framework for the students that either involves anything that they you know might be doing in in person kind of practicum type of work or um their curriculum part is there a framework that you found is kind of most impactful for the students yes so i i, I can give an example of the kind of work we're doing and how we enter into it um for we're, we're dealing with the idea of change um and gentrification specifically and so the students um are charged to engage in a signature project and so what they're doing is interviewing people in the community um so they're looking at seniors and then looking at middle schoolers and getting their perspective and then they're 
taking the ideas and making a mural. But in order to get into the community, we use the framework of um, the human centered design. So um, going through the different modules of what it means to go into a community first, you know, like establish empathy, establish communication. And so we use that as a way of entering and as a, a way of structuring the way we move into our work. Um, so human centered design. And then we use, again, this idea of social arts practice, what it means to be in community and getting something done. But really, the relationship is the thing that's important. The ultimate um, result will be a mural but along the way it's building the relationship understanding the community being welcome being welcomed into the community um so that is the the framework that we use and we we find it successful awesome awesome well no that's really great and of course i love incorporating things uh uh all of the aspects that that you've mentioned is there when you look at students who ideally come through the program and you kind of project out say mm -hmm. like five years is there a goal that you have in other words that you know the, the, the vast majority of your students are doing kind of x or having impact of x we will definitely look at this as having been successful. Do you have a sense of kind of what that is, uh, what those ultimate goals might be for the students? Yeah, so it's interesting because our students come in and they're not necessarily artists, right? But they have uh, either a love for the arts or want to um, nurture an artistic, artistic sensibility. And so um, my goal and the center's goal is to help them cultivate this, this life this um, creative life, um, and then learn how some of the things that um, folks might think are specific to other fields um, apply in the arts and they could take it out. So the leadership, the community building, the community organizing. So you, you may not want to be um, a pianist or a visual artist, but you're at the Curb Center and you're working with um, people in the field, but you're seeing how the kind of structures we're using can then go back and be applied to your engineering life that you're going to use, right? Or the, the pre-med stuff that you're thinking about, um, the different ways we approach a problem or the way we're being critical about a particular topic. So the goal is for them to come to the Curb Center and see how the arts is essential in the way we think, solve problems and how it can translate to other fields and if you're going to be an artist wonderful if not you can still be a creative you can still understand how culture work is at the core um, of the community and how you can still be you know useful um, and how the skills you're getting from the center can still be applied to the things that you'll do I don't know if that gives you a, a sense of it. Yeah, absolutely. No, and I love that. And kind of this this, this intersection, obviously, with the arts and all of these other fields, um, but also just how they can be embedded and hopefully really preparing students to be the ones to yeah. do that, to bring artistic practice into all of these other fields, uh, which I think is so, so critically important. Um, and I'm curious, kind of, right, because you're there in the, in the sense of a broader university campus. Many of our audience are at various collegiate university settings, um, conservatory settings. And um, and just wondering, as you do that work, have you found any um, either obstacles or challenges or things that as you approached it, bringing kind of arts to broader community that either you found certain solutions to or just kind of any key challenges or opportunities that you have experienced as it relates to the broader university community? Hmm. <laughs> so, um, so Big question, Aaron. Right, uh, right, right. So I, I think challenges, I'll start with that, um, are making sure that folks are aware of what we're doing because there's a menu of things happening. So we're always competing for um, attention and time because there's so much happening. So that's a challenge. Where and then how to then also um, have a pulse of what's needed right and then to be able to respond quickly to 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 what the need is um which is also an opportunity right because this is one of the things the arts teach you how to pivot gracefully and how to deal with ambiguity without being overly stressed right making something out of almost nothing so i think that's what i see right the the, the challenge of 
being made aware of what we do, how we function, um, and then how to use what we have to meet the needs of the university. Um, you'll often hear people say, you know, the Curb Center is a gem, right? It's a hidden gem. Um, we're not so hidden, right? But for, for some reason, <laughs> excuse me, for some reason, some folks don't really know what we do or don't see us because there's so much other things happening. Um, so that would be our challenge and our opportunity all at once, I think. Awesome, awesome. Well, unfortunately, we're just running short on time, but kind of dovetailing from that, curious uh, question I ask for all of my guests, um, which is in the process of doing this work, right, there's got to be key challenges that arise or just tough days, either things are not going right with students or with partners or, you know, partners external to the university, other parts of the university. And in those tough times, um, where do you or how do you draw on strength, resilience? How do you kind of make it through those toughest of days or times? Um, I think there's different things I do depending on the circumstances, right? But I think it always goes back to the people around me, right? So I, I, I find solace in friends and family. And if it's um, like I'm stuck artistically, then making sure that I'm part of a creative community, artistic community, so I can draw on that um, and really get, you know, the feedback or the affirmation or um, the kind of critical thought that I might need. So I guess it, it goes down to relationships and the different circles that I draw on when I need them. So. Oh, that's absolutely that's, your question. <laughs> that's beautiful. And especially I love that part about the critical feedback. I think that's such a key component to how we all can grow. And sometimes some of us will kind of close off welcoming that critical feedback, which then I think can impede our own growth. So I thought that was a, a, a really a, a beautiful, impactful um, part of, of what you shared and so relevant to so many of the leaders uh, who are in our audience. Wilna Jumist Taylor, you truly are one of the arts engines who is powering human creativity in our world. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure. Thank you.